Hi Gemini, welcome to your week ahead reading for April 5th through April 11th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Star Moon Sun Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out and show her some love and support. This is intended to be an all-encompassing reading or general reading, though it may concentrate on one specific area. This may also resonate with your person's or your moon rising or Venus sign if this is a romantic read or a one-on-one -on -one read per se. But it's taking a look at everything. All right. All right, Gemini. What do we got here for you? Week ahead, April 5th through April 11th. April 5th through April 11th for Gemini. All right, this is all about the home front. All about you and yours at home. Kind of all in the same boat on that one. <laughs> Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Justice. Could be Libra. Temperance. Sagittarius. The World. Nice. Judgment. Holy cow, look at you. I'm making some decisions here. All right. What do we got? get the little guys here and move that out of the way. I can't, my nails, I, I'm not being, I'm not able, these are still kind of new and slickery, so I can't pick them up yet, so I'm having to slide them all over the place. All right. Okay, so we've got a, a need for you to maintain balance and structure this week, Gemini. Um, you're handling things as they come up. And I think that's across the board with everybody is that there's we're finding a way for balance and calm here. Given that there's this new directive for, at least if you're in the States, for um, shelter in place. Like in place, in place, like in home. What's this Ace of Cups? For Gemini, what's this Ace of Cups? The Hanged Man, that could be Pisces. What's this Eight of Cups? This Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. All right. What's this Justice card about? The Hierophant. That could be Taurus. So this is all about you kind of putting yourself in a position to call the shots um, romantically. If you're, if you're looking at romance... This is all about you turning away from a situation to establish order and calm because the drama is just not worth it. Your focus needs to be elsewhere, namely on adjusting to this new normal of work shifting and sheltering in place. So the focus is on at home, home care, self care, family care. What's this temperance about? Work is steady, so that's not an issue here. Ten of Swords. Okay. What's this world card about? Oopsie. What's this world card about? Oopsie. Ace of Swords, a new normal. What's this judgment about? What's judgment about? Six of Wands. Nice. Okay. So here's the thing, Gemini. This is that you've got a you just went through a week where there might have been some endings, some letting goes, some turning away of, from drama romantically and otherwise in an effort to adjust to the new normal at home and to focus their home care, self-care, family care, all of that. So this week is about things you restoring calm um, after the worst is over and adjusting to the new normal. Work is steady. So there's no issue um, with, let me see, yeah, eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You got... The work is fine for the Gemini's I'm reading for. It's not that it's fine per se, but it's um, it will be present. Like you'll be able to either work from home or thank you if you're still working and you're an essential uh, worker or first responder. Thank you for your service. This is you maintaining consistent employment. So if you're not actively working, you're still being considered on the docket or the payroll um, and things might be suspended for now, but there's still consistency. There's still effort being made or consideration being made in that area. So it could be that um, things for now might be shelved, 
but you're still employed. You're still able to, I don't even want to say go to work though. You're still, that, that hasn't changed. So it's, there's no deficit there. I guess is the best way to put it. Things might be in suspension or on hold, but um, you're still counted as an employee there. And the nice thing about that too, though, is that there's fairness involved when it comes to that. There's fairness. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but there is fairness and grace considered. So there's help available if anything gets thrown out of balance in the weeks to come. There's consideration and grace in that. So... Um, You've got employers willing to help. You've got companies willing to forgive and, you know, suspend interest or payments, that sort of thing. But for now, for this week, there's still consistent money, consistent work. And you're turning away from a, a romantic situation that might very well be drama. So that it allows you to solely focus on what's important and restoring home, restoring balance in the home, uh, self-care, all of that. And... This is you going, you know what, this situation wasn't working for me and I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. This needs to be about, I need to be back in control. There's a lot of that with everybody now wanting to just like all of a sudden it got real clear what's dramatic, what's not worth it, what's over the top, what's needing to go by the wayside so that I can refocus on what's important. Restoring balance after the worst is over, get adjusting to a new normal. And we got judgment and the six of wands here. So this is you coming out of it um, victorious. A lot's happening. gives you time to think. And this there's chaos. And then we come to the ending where there's balance. And that it wasn't as bad as, you se as it seemed. So it might be like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? But this is in the aftermath finding solutions. And again, work looks to be work and money are steady and stable. So there's no deficit. There's no surge. It's just consistent. And probably because now you're solely focused on what matters and the romantic drama has subsided. So got a new normal you're adjusting to as we all are. All right, what else for Gemini for the week ahead? What else for Gemini? Whoopsie. The lovers, that could be Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Okay, so I just pulled that to go with that because I don't... I. <laughs> Listen to me. I don't want you making any decisions yet. No, I, I want you to, um, and I'm glad that this can occur, but this is about time to think about things because you just reached a turning point to where you're like, you know what, whatever I do, it's got to be for me and my best interest right now. I'm not going to do drama. I'm not going to, I'm going to let go of that, which is not serving me in that department because you kind of can't afford the time really. That looks like you're going to be working quite a bit. And we've got another worker card here. So there's been a shift, a change, and this is adjusting to the new normal and applying your resources where they are counted most, not on fri frivolous drama. This is not about focus being here. This is about you giving this pause to think about your next choice. So this is about focusing on what matters to you now. And that kind of ties in with the rest of the reading. So I'm glad to see that because that's what we all should be doing. All right, Gemini. What else for Gemini's week ahead? Gemini's week ahead. <laughs> Time for beginner mind. I like it. Where am I going to put it? <laughs> Maybe. Time for beginner mind. Excellent. Because that's this right here. That's restoring balance after chaos and adjusting to the new normal. It's like, well, now what? Well, got a lot of time to think about what you want to do. And it's it turns out to be um, beneficial because we've got six of wands here. This is all about things going forward. This is with help of the community, like your employer, banks, um, companies, bill company. All Everybody's working together for 
this new normal to be a success, to come out of this with a renewed sense of like teamwork and working together and all of that. So, and that's like on a global scale, but as far as for you, you're going to have help if you need it. So do not worry. What else for Gemini? <laughs> All right, so we've got two of swords reversed and world reversed, right? Is that two of swords reversed? I draw my dots on there and then it gets erased. So let me, I can never remember. Should be able to at this point. Two of swords reversed. All right. So again, this speaks to that kind of unrest or chaos and not having enough information and then having too much information and things being over. Like this is lack of information and lack of closure, not being able to make a decision because everything's in flux. There's things might have been getting started and then they all of a sudden took an about face. And that could be with work, that could be with romance, but there's gonna be a reversal of something that was starting to go a certain way and all of a sudden, nope. <laughs> We've got a new normal we're going to adjust to. This needs to be shelved. We're going this direction. You're going to be working from home or your shifts are going to be here or we're implementing a new policy for this. So there's adjustments being made that that's where it's drawing your attention and primarily um, in the area of work and kind of fortifying your home base. It feels like romance is going to be what it's going to be, but that's not your focus. You're not really worried about it because your person's going through something also. So it's like you guys aren't really worried about each other at the time as it should be your focus is needs to be on um fortifying your home base and you and self-care and all that so and adjusting to the new normal specifically on the home front all right okay gemini i hope this was helpful and i hope to see you in the next reading i thank you for stopping by and i hope it is a good week for you all right love and support to you take care